I didn't see Lieutenant Stevens at this morning's division meeting. He stayed behind on Grassland 2 after our visit to that colony world last week. I didn't know that. Yes. He stayed to attend the funeral of his friend Grimm, who suddenly died. He was a guard at the minimum security lockup in the capital city there. Oh no, some kind of accident? It was terrible. Grimm was... he was eaten. Eaten? Yes, by a Kazinti, an inmate there. Actually, Grimm was the eighth herbivore devoured at that prison. But the Grazerites segregate their prisons, with carnivores being in a different facility than the smaller and defenseless herbivores, for safety. How could there be a carnivore in a herbivore prison? According to their latest laws, there are no carnivores there. Recently, several Kazinti and Anosikan were allowed at the herbivore facility because they identified as herbivores. Oh, I see. But, uh, don't the prison officials require them to have their claws or teeth removed or something like- Definitely not. The Grazerites recently adopted a species-inclusive policy to recognize beings who renounce their prey-devouring ways. And they don't require any surgery because it might insult them, since their laws state that anyone who identifies as a herbivore is a herbivore, and thus not dangerous. Well, I expect that many herbivores will lobby to repeal such a dangerous initiative. Not on any Grazerite planet. The government has closed debate on the issue, and have since banned any public dissent with their policy, on the grounds that the ex-carnivores may be, uh, looked down upon. Oh. I, I see. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The Grazerite defense of their policies you were describing, Mr. Sulu, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of dogmatism or zealotry. I did think they were pretty unreasonable. You are correct, Mr. Eriks. I know of the situation occurring with Grazerite prisons. The policy and their defense of it exhibits dogmatism, since they hold the belief in repentant and converted carnivores unquestioningly with undefended certainty. It is commendable to encourage those who try to give up poor behavior or bad habits. However, believing without question any pronouncement made by a chosen group of individuals solely because that group is to be encouraged is illogical. In this regard, the Grazerites issue any requirement to physically alter so-called ex-carnivores to prevent them from killing and eating prey, thus choosing to risk the death of defenseless inmates rather than possibly hurting the feelings of the more powerful sharp-toothed inmates. Their zealotry is also evident in their refusal to discuss their position rationally, their absolute refusal to tolerate other perspectives or conflicting beliefs, and for their move to even prosecute anyone publicly stating opposition to their policies all of which are hallmarks of the abandonment of logic. Thank you, Mr. Spark. Yes, I agree that their dogged adherence to their policy is concerning to say the least. Indeed. Even if a point of view is declared to be valid by a group in power, it cannot be valid unless it stands up to a rational and fair debate. Refusal to subject one's views to reasonable discussion is an example of dogmatism or zealotry. Rational and open discourse about important policy must be allowed and encouraged, otherwise entire groups may be unfairly marginalized and even put at risk. It's only logical 